my heavenly father, because if it weren't for him, I wouldn't even be standing right here about to minister to y'all right now. For real. I know y'all, some of y'all probably thinking, I hope she ain't finna go here and give another testimony through her rhymes. But that's okay, because when you've been delivered from so much at a young age, you can't help but tell the world because you're just that excited. All right. I'm trying to make this quick. See, this here is a matter of life and death. No, I ain't coming up here to preach to nobody. And I ain't coming up here for y'all to give me a standing ovation. But I want you to just sit there and listen to what I'm telling you. Because some of y'all, like me, you need a little bit of motivation. See, I'm always hearing people say the devil's out to kill, steal, and destroy. And in the palm of his hand is where he wants you to be. But no, I personally don't agree that it's always the devil. See, I believe my worst enemy is me. And to some of y'all, that doesn't even make sense. I guess you got to be really going through some personal issues with yourself to understand where I'm coming from. I'm talking about to the point where you want to give up, throw your hands up and say, that's it. I'm done. That used to be me. But I appear to be so strong and outspoken. You must not know who I be. But let me tell you, I may be outspoken, but I'm not strong. My environment sometimes influences me and makes me weak. Because I'm ashamed to tell my friends, I can't go out with you and shake a leg all night because I got to go to church the next day. I'm ashamed to tell my friends that I really don't cuss, but yet I really am saved. I'm ashamed to tell that boy, I can't lay down with you because fornication is a sin. But yet I do it anyway because that's the only way I feel I can keep him. But how many of you know you can do bad by yourself? I shouldn't even be putting my 20-year-old brain through that kind of stress. I'm at the point right now where I have to encourage myself every day. I'm the head and not the tail. El Renee is the very best. I'm sorry, but I refuse to be this person society wants me to be. And if my friends don't like it, it's okay if they dip. But I ain't gonna be the one walking around with an STD or no offense, an unplanned baby on my hip. This is me. What you see is what you get. A God-loving, God-fearing, Bible-toting Christian. I can't be reeled in by the devil. He might as well go to the next lake and start fishing. A healthy Christian. 100% with everything I do and say. And now I'm bold enough to tell my buddies what I got planned in my day. I tell them, Wednesday, I got Bible study. Friday, I got this youth event to attend. Saturday, I got prayer at noon. And Sunday, I'm back here again. What's new? You ain't coming? That's cool. But I got somewhere I got to be, and it ain't finna be held up because of you. Man, my used to be so-called friends fight, cuss, fornicate, smoke, and drink. And I got to the point that for myself, I could no longer think. Instead of me finding myself, they found myself for me. I became this El Renee that they wanted me to be. And I know I'm only 20 years old, but if I knew back then what I know now, I wouldn't have had to be delivered from depression. I wouldn't have had to be delivered from oppression. I wouldn't have tried to be somebody I'm not just so I can get along with everybody and not make nobody mad. But now that I'm smarter, I really don't care because at the end of the day, you know what? I'm going to have a last laugh. <laughs> but let, wait, wait, wait. But let me calm down. Let me calm down. Let me calm down. This revelation on life, man, I think I'm the founder. Last year we welcomed you to reality, now this year it's time to experience the encounter. It's okay to have fun and still rep G-O-D no matter what your homeboys or your homegirls got to say. Because at the end, it ain't even gonna matter what they say. Because you gonna be the one walking with your head held high through them gates on that special occasion they call Judgment Day. 